Hello guys, welcome to a new tutorial of uh, Spark AR. This is about the new feature I really love in a new update, V78, if I'm not wrong. So, to get started, just open a new project, add the rectangle, size it to full screen. Open a new material, go on the material, turn it flat and click on texture. The patch editor will open, you go on camera, texture extraction, take the camera, put it in a patch editor. Now go on add assets, import from library, patch assets, shaders, and here's the magic. You can import any of this in your project, just like that. And this is the one trick I want to show you. So you take the Triton shader or Duoton, I personally rather the Triton. So if you go straight in the material, this is what you see. But if you put the camera texture inside the tree tone and then the output inside the material this magic is going to happen then you click on the colors and you go crazy with it you pick the color you like I like to turn the first one black and the last one to make this like kind of drawing effect and then I'll mess with the central color but you can actually do whatever you want with that so this is me hello it's like a little bit noisy because it's dark in my room and uh, my camera sucks so let's go back to sparks model and mess around with it for a little bit until I like I find something I really like or barely like I don't know, we'll see let's try with the duotone shader now that's it you can make a black and white like real fast just like that Make it a little bit pinkier, like mess with colors. You see what I like talking about. You mess a little bit with it, that's it. You can mess with blending modes. Let's go back to the Triton. Yeah, Triton. Triton, Triton shader and like trying to connect both why not mess with colors find the cool balance you're looking for This is just like the idea, of course you can do whatever you like. Let's go back to patch assets, shaders and add, uh, uh, adjust colors. Yep, you can add any of them. Let's drag the adjust color inside the patch editor, output from the tritone and then output in a material and then you can use this like you know like balance it with lightness saturation you can change the who you can like hue you can like maybe you can add the uh, loop animation to it and like make it you know like change 
from a value to another. I don't know why it's glitching right now. And then you like put the value inside the hue, change the duration, and everything is gonna go. Okay. I don't know why it's glitching up, but hopefully it's not glitching up for you and you saw the final result. If not, I'm gonna post just like um, a short video from from my phone i'm gonna send it on my phone to test it out and like see how it looks from my phone then i will have a, a better view on what the another user will see on its phone if that makes any sense all right that's it for my first english tutorial i hope you helpful for you that was helpful and uh, yeah have fun <laughs>